I'm going to run a build in Android Studio, two builds on two different operating systems. What are they? One is going to be a getting started Hello World for a baseline, and the other one's going to be Firefox for mobile. So a pretty large project with the latest version of Android Studio. And I'm going to do this on Windows and I'm going to do this on Linux. That's right, you Linux folks, you Linux nuts. You've been asking me for this and we're going to do it. Oh, hey, uh, before we get going, I just want to announce this week's subscriber winner. It's a random winner I pick every week. So subscribe. This week's winner is Saar Hadir. Congratulations. Now, just before we get started, this is the project I'm talking about. And you've seen me use this project before in some of my tests here. Thanks to Sergei Radhivsky for building this. And basically, this is a clone or a fork off of repository Mozilla Mobile. And the reason there's a fork of it is because, well, he wanted to freeze it in time so that we can get a consistent build and compare different architectures and different processors. You've seen me test the M1 MacBook Air with this and the Intel Core i9 with this one. And now we're doing this on the Asus Rogue Strix Ryzen 9 powerhouse machine. See, it's got a sticker on it. That means it's powerful, right? It says eight cores overclocked and a bunch of other stickers. I don't know why PCs like to put all these stickers on their machines. I don't know. Let's get into it, okay? I'm gonna pop open Android Studio and it's Arctic Fox and we're gonna start from scratch. I already have a couple of projects here, but I'm gonna remove them. And here's gonna be a new project that's a basic activity. Let's click next. Let's call it test one because I'm so creative with my names. Click finish. And of course, we got to wait for the Gradle build to finish. And it looks like it finished it pretty quickly. Let's go over here to scripts and see if there's anything we can use. No, nothing. I'm gonna run Gradle build and hopefully that'll work and report the time for us. So that finished up in 49 seconds. I don't know if that's good or bad. We're gonna do this a couple more times to find out. And then at the end, I'll report the averages of all the builds to you. By the way, if you like this kind of content, let me know by tapping the thumbs up button. I'd appreciate it for the algorithm and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one. Oh, and did I mention that that's free? Yeah, it doesn't cost you anything to do that. It helps me out a bunch. Thanks. We're gonna do a clean, good to go. And let's do another build. <laughs> All right, folks, this one took 12 seconds. Clearly the first one I'm going to throw out because it had to download some Gradle dependencies the first time around. So this is a more likely number. And the next run took 10 seconds. So I'm going to close this down. And I have this Android Studio benchmark project already downloaded. Now I did run it before. So I want to get a clean build. So I'm going to run the clean command right here. And there we go. Now the command to build this project is called assemble debug the script, the Gradle script. Uh, I'm just following the instructions in the repository. That way they're all consistent. And when people report the results to Sergey, then he can compile all the results and they're using all the same scripts. So the results are consistent. Did I, did I just say that? I just said it twice, didn't I? Okay. We want to be consistent here, folks. Okay. Assemble debug. That's the script I'm going to run and off to the races. So this is going to take a little bit of time to run because it is a pretty large project and uh, we'll get the number in a bit. Uh, life is hard running these scripts and waiting for them to finish. A lot of fun, I'm telling you. <laughs> I do it for you. First run is done. Two minutes, 35 seconds. Mm, not the best. I'll write it down anyway. Got to do this a couple more times just to make sure that's not a fluke and that we're being consistent here. And there we go. Off to the races. By the way, just as a side note, when I ran this on my Intel MacBook Pro with a Core i9 processor, this thing was already really hot, like to the touch. This thing is not bad. It's not super hot. And I do have this plugged in because, well, unfortunately, it doesn't give me maximum performance if this laptop is not plugged in, which in my opinion, unlaptopizes the whole thing. Unlaptopizes. Uh, makes it very unlaptop like right laptops are for portability you want to be able to take it anywhere and work on it on the go and having yourself tethered to uh, an ac outlet is not my idea of portability but if that's how we get the most performance out of this then i'm gonna have it plugged in for these tests and by the way my windows power settings are set to maximum and i still saw the difference there between the tests that are plugged in and not plugged in a pretty significant some of you commented that amd does this with their chips on purpose i actually don't know that for a fact if you do know this or have some information or a link let me know in the comments down below all right 
This is now done at 1 minute and 56 seconds, so a pretty big improvement over the last run, which means that I'm probably going to throw that first one out as an outlier. And let's run this again to get a more consistent time. Assemble debug. I guess uh, I'll sit here for a few more minutes. And you don't have to because the video will be faster. But okay, here we go. And there we go. We got a pretty consistent number at 1 minute and 52 seconds. And now it's time to move on to Linux. All right, folks, here we are. I've rebooted my machine and I dual booted into my Ubuntu instance on the same machine. So we still got the Ryzen 9. And uh, yeah, it's the same machine, same specs. Specs are in the description, by the way. New project, basic activity, next. Should we call this one test uh, one? Huh? I don't know, can't be uh, more creative than that. You know what, let's be more creative than that. Hula, hula, bula. <laughs> yeah, folks, it's late. Um, it's pretty late. Here we go. We're still building the Gradle, gonna be finished in a second or a minute. Actually, it's been pretty good with the new Arctic Fox version of Android Studio. Previous versions have been really slow for this step, but this has been pretty decent. Especially on the Apple Silicon version of this, that step is almost unnoticeable. Okay, we're done now and let's do a build Gradle build. Let's go. Now again, this is the first build of a new project. So it is going to have some dependencies to download. So this run is going to be a little bit longer. I'm going to just get the number for it. But the later runs are the ones I'm going to count towards the average. All right. One minute. By the way, on Windows, the first run was 49 seconds. Hmm. I wonder if this is a prediction of what's going to happen. No matter. We're going to do it anyway. Gradle clean and Gradle build. And this one was 12 seconds. Interesting. One more time, shall we? Pretty good, nine seconds. Okay, so we got our baseline. Hello world project. I know a lot of you are interested in the next one, so let's do that one. Let's close this project down. And I already downloaded that Android Studio benchmark project. All I gotta do here is just run our clean script and let's do our assemble debug script. Okay, let's see. Any guesses of what's gonna happen? Is this gonna be faster than Windows or is Windows gonna be faster? Or are they gonna be about the same? Put your answers down in the comments. Come on, I dare you, before this thing finishes. Okay, the first run is done and it took two minutes and 23 seconds. Haha. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do two more runs right now and I'm gonna fast forward this video so you don't have to watch it. But this this is very close, I think. Okay, folks, I have the results. You ready for this? I'm gonna put the results up on the screen and yeah, Linux is running this a little bit faster. Not by much, small percentage, but still nonetheless a little bit faster. Now, I don't know what accounts for that. I know a lot of commenters will probably say it's Windows that accounts for that. But there's a lot more that goes into it than just the operating system that you're running on. There's all kinds of things that go into it that's beyond a simple explanation, like it's an operating system change. Now, if you like this test, you really want to check out the test I did with the M1 and Android Studio builds. I'll leave a link to it right here. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.